Number 56. Calculate the molarity of each of the following solutions, and then we have letter C. In this case, they give us 0.001 milligram of cadmium ion, 2 plus, and this is all in 0.100 liter. And this is the maximum permissible concentration of cadmium in drinking water. Ooh, interesting. Let's just find the molarity, shall we? So this comes from a formula, right? We've been doing tons of molarity problems. So this one, the same formula we're going to use, right? And the formula is right here. It's molarity equals moles of solute divided by liters of solution. I'm just going to put this guy in the upper left-hand corner. So more simply, we can know this equation by just saying capital M, capital M for molarity, equals moles divided by liters. Cool. So that's what I'm going to write over here. The more simplified version is big M equals moles over liter. Now, from the information that they gave us, do we know any of the information that we need in order to solve for big M or molarity? Well, they didn't give us a mole, right? They gave me a mg. They gave me a milligram. So can't do anything with that yet. But they did give me a liter. So I know that the bottom number is going to be 0 0.100 liters. Now I just got to work on the top number. Somehow we have to convert 0 0.001 milligrams of cadmium ion, 2 plus, right? And I have to go to moles of cadmium, 2 plus. Okay. Well, let's see. I got some, you know, quick tricks down here, right? And here's the mole right? And I want to get to mole. But in order to get to mole, I have to first have a gram value. Here, I have a milligram. So the first thing I actually have to do is I have to convert my milligrams into grams. Then I can use this conversion to go from grams to moles. So that's the flow, guys. Two-step conversion before we put it into our formula. Well, now, how do we go from a milligram to a gram, right? Well, that's this conversion all the way over here. And by the way, this is the subscribe button. Just pointing it out to you. It looks kind of nice, right? And thank you if you click it. But if not, that's okay. Maybe later. Or maybe never. I'll still you love you guys. Let's keep going. <laughs> um, okay, milligram to gram. How do we do that? Well... We have a milligram here, and we want to go to the gram. So we're going this way. All we got to do is take that milligram and just divide by 1,000, and then you'll get your gram value. So all I got to do is just take this number and times by 1,000. Similarly, you can take your... Oh, sorry, not times. Not times, guy. Did you catch it? It's really late. It's really late on my end. So I'm trying to get these videos out for you guys. It's like now, last video I said it was 2.13. Now it's 2.17. Anywho, let's keep going. 2.17 in the morning. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take the 0 0.001 and divide by 1,000, right? Similarly, you could take the decimal and move it to the left three times. Either way, you'll still get the same answer. So maybe let me just move this up a little bit, just so I have a little bit of room. And let's see, 0 0.001 divided by 1,000. We get 1 times 10 to the negative 6. So that's my new gram value. So I have 1 times 10 to the negative 6 grams of the cadmium 2 plus. Now I got to get to moles. How do I go from a gram value to a mole value? That's over here, guys, right? So below, we're starting off at grams because we just found out that answer, right? And now I want to go to moles. So all I got to do is I got to take that gram and divide it by the molecular weight. Well, whoa, whoa, and there's no other number that they gave me in the problem. But they gotta, they've got to, you know, see that you work for the problem, right? 
Remember, the molecular weight is on the periodic table. So we have to go to the periodic table and find out what the molecular weight of the cadmium 2 plus is. So it's literally just the mass of the cadmium, right? Now remember, the molecular weight is just the protons and the neutrons on average. This number up here is the electrons. This just says that I lost two electrons, but the electrons have nothing to do with the mass. So the mass is still going to be the number that's on the periodic table. I just have one cadmium. Now the question is, where is cadmium? Ah, oh, I found it. Did you find it on your periodic table? The weight is one, uh, 112.4 and that's in grams per mole. You do not subtract two to this number. You do not add two to this number. You don't, you don't even look at it. Okay. So all I'm going to do is now I'm going to take those grams and divide by the molecular weight and I'll get the moles. And that's what I need. So I'm going to take the one times 10 to the negative six, and that's the grams of CD two plus. And I'm going to divide by the molecular weight, which is 112.4 and that's in grams per mole. And you see how on the top and the bottom it's grams? Yeah, they cancel. And that's why you're only left with moles. So that's why this little trick works if we don't want to do dimensional analysis. Okay, so one times 10 to the negative six divided by 112.4. Technically, I still need one sig fig because the answer that they, they, the information that they gave us at the start was only one sig fig. So I'm only going to say one sig fig. This is nine times 10 to the negative ninth. And that's moles of CD two plus. Now I know the top. This is nine times 10 to the negative ninth moles. So now I'm finally ready to figure out what that molarity is. Capital M equals moles over liters. Nine times 10 to the negative ninth moles. And that's all divided by the liters, 0 0.100 liters. So let's figure out what that is. Nine times 10 to the negative ninth divided by 0 0.1. It's nine times 10 to the eighth or nine times 10 to the negative eighth. And oh, let me just make that a little bit more. Okay. And now let's look at the units. I have moles on the top. I have liters on the bottom. Can I cancel those out? Are they the same? No, I can't cancel these out. So that's why the unit for molarity is mole per liter. You can't cancel out those units. You could also just say that it's capital M. So you could say nine times 10 to the negative eighth and then like a capital M, but this is more specific. I like that one better. So that's the answer guys. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, I love helping you guys out. You guys rock and yeah, let's keep studying hard. Chemistry is fun, and if it's not, at least, at least we're doing it together, right? <laughs> at least, at least, yeah, we're not alone, right, doing chem. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.